What's up everyone, Sick down here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you games that I need to finish. Let's get right into this. So if you guys have seen my series where I share games that I recently picked up and also games that I recently played and finished, in those series I talk about how many games I have on my backlog and that I've been trying to clear them out. Now, unfortunately, there's some games that I may have played a little bit, but then I started playing other games and completely forgot about them. Or when I purchased them on the PlayStation Store, I never played them and they just sat in my backlog for months untouched. So I definitely wanted to make this video talking about some of the games that I definitely want to play that are on my backlog. And hopefully this will motivate me to start playing them. I definitely want to start playing them because they're not that they're bad games. They are amazing games. It's just... I start playing one or sometimes I purchase it with the intent of playing it and then I start playing some of my other games that I've already had or some other games that I recently purchased as well. So let's get right into this. Up first is Far Cry 3 and Far Cry 4. I purchased these a couple months ago actually and I purchased Far Cry 3 I think it was four dollars and I think Far Cry 4 was about six dollars, six or eight dollars. So a total of twelve dollars for these two games. I absolutely love Far Cry and I never got to play these games back in the day. Now, I did play Far Cry 5 and that's what really got me into the Far Cry series. I absolutely loved Far Cry 5 which motivated me to get Far Cry New Dawn when it was released a year later and I loved both those games. So whenever I seen these games on sale, I definitely decided to pick them up. Recently, I actually started playing Far Cry 3. If I had to guess, I think I'm about maybe a quarter or maybe a third of the way through the main story, but this is definitely a game I plan on platinuming because the Far Cry series for PlayStation is actually kind of easy to platinum. It's not hard whatsoever. It's just a matter of doing all of the specific things. So it's a lot of fun. I love the open world concept. I don't care for the first person aspect. I'm not a first person gamer, but I do love this series and I actually have to start playing these a little bit more. Like I said, maybe I'm a third of the way through Far Cry 3, but with Far Cry 6 coming out or at the time I'm uploading this video, it's already out. I definitely want to finish Far Cry 3 and Far Cry 4 before I even think about purchasing Far Cry 6 because I'm just going to be pushing these back even further if I purchase Far Cry 6 because that game I'm definitely going to want to play right once I purchase it. There's no point of purchasing it until I finish these two games. They're amazing games so far and I definitely need to finish them and get things rolling. The next game is 1111 Memories Retold. This is kind of a war stories game. I think I got it free on PlayStation Now but was able to download it to my console and I never started playing it. I downloaded it and just left it there as part of my backlog. Now, it's more of an artsy game. The graphics are not necessarily the greatest, but it's more of these stories, which I think they're actually war stories from back in World War I or II. And I love history. I love war history. So I definitely want to play these games. It's just I never got a chance to play this one yet. And I really want to because the story seems like it's going to be awesome. It's definitely not a game I'm going to be able to platinum, but it does look like it's a fun game. The next game is Assassin's Creed Black Flag. This game here, I've talked about it on the channel before, and I absolutely love Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I love the pirate aspects, and this is the first Assassin's Creed game that I played. And I always talk about it saying how much I love it. It's just I never went back to finish it. I'm about halfway done the game and I just stopped. I started playing other games. And I think the most thing that's the reason why I did that with this game is because of how much traveling time it takes whenever you're on the ship to go back and forth to different islands and everything. I think that's the main thing that it boiled down to is it was a lot of just traveling and not much of the game, which I do understand, but I definitely plan on going back and playing this game because I love the whole design of Assassin's Creed but I don't want to purchase another Assassin's Creed until I finish this because if I purchase them, I assume the same thing is going to happen. So until I finish this game, I'm not purchasing another Assassin's Creed, unfortunately. The next game is Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Campaign. Now, this game back in the day was the first Call of Duty campaign that you could play co-op. I think you could play with up to four people. 
but it's something that me and my friends never did back in the day. We fully intended on doing it. We got maybe four or five levels in and we just stopped. We never touched it again. So I might actually go back and just play it on normal just by myself and just complete it just to say that I've done it because it's been sitting on my backlog and on my PS4 taking up storage since the game was pretty much released, which was what, four or five years now? So I definitely want to finish it, delete the game, and be done with it. It's just something that's been taking up space on my PS4, and I want to get it done. I've been waiting to do it to be able to play with Jack and maybe some of the other guys, but honestly, I just don't see that happening because we're just not into Call of Duty anymore. We're not Call of Duty gamers anymore, unfortunately. The next game is actually three games. That is Darksiders 1, 2, and 3. Now, Darksiders 3 was part of PS Plus maybe a year, year and a half ago. I ended up getting it, and I liked it, but I got stuck in a part, and I wasn't able to get past it for some reason. Instead of me looking up, I just gave up on the game and just started playing other games for a little bit. And then for PlayStation Now, Darksiders 1 and 2 were there for me to be able to download. So right now, I have all three Darksiders games, and honestly, they're a lot of fun. I started to play Darksiders 1 because... I decided to go back and start from the beginning of Darksiders 1, started playing it, and it's a lot of fun. It's definitely that gruel, grimy stuff that I don't usually like, but in that game, I absolutely love it because it's not that graphic, but it is a lot of fun, and the story is definitely very interesting. The only thing is, just like some of these other games on this list, I started playing it, and then I started playing other games and basically forgot about these games. But they're so much fun. I love the concept. I love the artwork, the design. It's definitely something that I want to go back and play. Next is a game that I consider one of my favorite games on the PlayStation 4. And that is Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm about, if I had to guess, maybe a third of the way or maybe half of the way complete the game. It is a game that shouldn't be too hard to platinum. It's just some of the stuff... I've not done and I think just like Assassin's Creed it boils down to the travel time now you do unlock fast travel eventually in the game however I can fast travel to a closest points that I have to go but then I have to go and override a machine and then use it because if I'm just running on foot it takes forever and that travel time I just don't want to deal with and I think honestly that's why I gave up on this game because whenever I stopped playing it last I had to travel from one side of the map to the other side of the map, which is a really long time. So instead of me fast traveling to the closest points that I had to go and then overriding an animal, I just stopped playing the game. I do plan on going back because I love the concept of it. I love the story. It's so in depth and it's something that I definitely love. It's just, I never went back and played it. And I know with PS5, the next game for the Horizon series is coming out and I definitely want it. It's just, I want to finish this game first. So once I get a PS5 and then once I purchase the next Horizon game, I want to have finished Horizon Zero Dawn before I start that next game. So that's why I want to add it on my list to hopefully motivate me, but it's definitely one of my favorite games. I love the shooting. I love the concept. I love everything about Horizon Zero Dawn. And the last game is Rise of the Tomb Raider. I have never played, even from back on the PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 1, I've never played a Tomb Raider game before. And yet I call myself a gamer. So months ago in the summer of 2020, they actually had the Rise of the Tomb Raider free for PS Plus. I downloaded the game with the intent of playing it as my first Tomb Raider game. However, that just did not happen. I never played the game. I downloaded it and it just sat in my library on the PS4, taking up space, just sat there in my backlog. So I definitely want to play it because it does look like it's going to be a lot of fun. It's definitely an interesting game and I want it since I'm a gamer, a heavy gamer, and I love PlayStation so much, I need to be able to play a Tomb Raider game, something that I've never done before. Definitely needs to be done. So these are the games right now that are on my backlog that I personally think are amazing games. It's just I've never finished them or some of them never even started. So I definitely am gonna be working on these games in the next couple weeks and months, hopefully completing them all because they are just gonna to continue to be part of my backlog. I have so many games on backlog right now 
and I definitely like making videos like this talking about them because that motivates me to finish them. So right now, I think I'm working towards Far Cry 3 the most because I absolutely love the game and the story. It just draws me in and I can't stop playing it, which is awesome because I never played it whenever I per first purchased and downloaded it. Now that I'm kind of playing only it, it's a lot of fun. So I definitely think that'll be the next game on this list that I'm finishing. And then from there, maybe Call of Duty Black Ops 3 just to get that out of the way because it takes up over 100 gigabytes of storage on my PS4. And then I'll work on some of the other games one by one. Horizon Zero's Dawn and Assassin's Creed are a third of the way or almost maybe halfway done. So those wouldn't be too bad. It's just the travel time in those games. So comment down below if you have a backlog like I do. If you have games that you need to finish, but you never got around to it, what games are they? And what do you guys think of these games on my backlog, the games that I mentioned in this video? Are they worth playing or some of them that I haven't started yet? Should I just pass and give up that and work towards other things? I honestly want to complete everything that's on this list because they look like they're a lot of fun, but some of them might just be too time consuming and I don't know if I'll ever be able to finish them once I do start them. Comment down below. I want to hear what you guys think. I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.